Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Damien's Midweek Markets, the show where I talk about what's been going on in investment markets and what to look out for in the days and weeks ahead. Now, we've had a couple of week break from the markets, and that's partly because we had two shortened trading weeks because of Easter. Now, let's catch up with what's been going on. April, it's the start of the second quarter of 2021, has started in a well, very positive mood. Now, if you look at America, for example, the S&P 500, we've pushed above 4,100 for the first time ever. We're seeing new all-time highs. The Dow Jones has seen more new all-time highs. It seems to be on a relentless march higher since mid-February, where we saw the reflation trade take over. And we saw the Dow Jones typically outperform the Nasdaq 100 because those tech companies were getting hit when when the 10-year US Treasury yield was rising. So rising bond yields were hurting technology stocks. Now, interestingly, in the last few days, we've seen new all-time highs on the Nasdaq 100. So that tech heavy index in America. And it gives you a hint to what's been going on within markets sort of underlying. And that's that we've started to see the growth stock start to catch up their cyclical value counterpart. So we're not seeing the reflation trade reverse. We're not seeing things like uh, value stocks plummet in favor of growth stocks. We're just seeing growth stocks starting to play quite a quick catch up into the start of April. So we've seen new all-time highs on the NASDAQ 100 as well. And we've even seen Chinese technology stocks starting to catch a bid because they've been hit quite hard in recent months. But they are still showing signs of weakness, largely because of regulatory concerns over in China that the government might start to crack down on some of these massive technology companies. So technology stocks are playing catch up. We are seeing the wider market push high. In fact, we're in quite a positive mood generally for markets. So if you have what they call a high beta exposure, so breadth to your equity exposure, so just general market exposure, not to any particular type of uh, value, cyclical, just the market in general, you have seen your portfolio push higher. So high beta portfolios and funds are doing quite well at the moment because, as I say, we're seeing a rally in the broad market, growth, value, cyclical, everything's now starting to take part. And we're seeing the VIX, the fear index, uh, fall below 17. So we've been seeing that plummeting. That means that the fear is dropping out of the markets. We've seen similarly strong moves to the downside on the VXM, which is the tech stock equivalent of the VIX. And the yield, the 10-year US Treasury yield, has started to pull back. It's down towards about 1.63%. We're seeing similar moves in the gilt market and other government bond markets. So when yields have started to fall, that's meant that bond markets have stabilised. And it means that's really what's given growth stocks the boost that they needed in the last sort of week or so. So keep an eye on that 10-year US Treasury yield. Like I say, it's down to around about 1.63%. We were up as high as 1.77 in recent weeks. We're at a three-week low at the moment. So keep an eye on what happens out on the days and weeks ahead. One thing to note that although we've had some relative calm in markets in the last week or so, we've had really low volume, which means that there hasn't been as much trading as there would be normally. And we were having sort of record low days, day after day after day, particularly in US markets. It's almost if the whole market had gone to sleep. So you wonder whether it's a calm before a storm. And are we going to see the reflation trade pick back up again? Are we going to see people grow more concerned with things like COVID? We have seen rising numbers. But more importantly, we've seen the Johnson & Johnson vaccine news, whereby certain markets, that's America, uh, the EU, have paused the use of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. And when that was announced yesterday, we saw all those stay-at-home stocks. So that's the things like Amazon, all those growth stocks, technology stocks from last year that did so well, rally yesterday. It'd be interesting to see what happens in the next couple of days, whether that continues or whether that is just a bit of a a, a counter rally or counter trend to the long-standing trend we've seen since February of this reflation trade. But like I say, things have taken a bit of a pause in that regard, but markets are definitely still pushing higher and there's optimism out there. Now, we're in a Goldilocks scenario. That's what's really happened. We've got 
Inflation isn't too hot, but it's not too cold. We've had growth that's not too hot, not too cold. We've seen COVID numbers that seem to be not too concerning. Everything is just about right. We've even had central banks making the right sort of noises about inflation being transitory and it's not going to become ingrained and we're not going to see wage inflation suddenly spark higher inflation more generally. So the market likes things how they are. That can't last forever. So at some point, something is likely to give and we'll be interested to see whether that is to the downside or the upside for equity markets. But right now, everything's in a very positive mood. And maybe we shouldn't be surprised that April has started so well, because if you go back over the last 20 years, April is actually the strongest month for UK stocks. But we also see a similar pattern in US stocks too. So that is it for this week on Damien's Midweek Markets. As ever, you can contact me via Twitter, Money to the Masses with the number two. Email Damien at money to the masses dot com. And of course, you can find us on Instagram and you can find us on Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.